time to go live. Okay, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Um, Canadians played tonight. Is there much else for me to say? <laughs> what happens when the Montreal Canadiens play? All right, guys. I, I, that's going to be today's poll question. What... What happens if, if I can type properly? What happens when the Canadians play? All right. All right. There you go, boys. I ask this. Or ask this. Answer this, boys. This is the question. What happens when the Canadian play? Either they win or they commit the death and lose. Um <laughs> uh Silverback, always good to see the red jersey. Thank you, man. Uh, Petrie man, trade him. He's playing horrible. Darwin, I agree, man. He is really bad. Hey, Harry Pavlo, how's it going, buddy? Dude, Savard man, he's eating ice cream every game. Why did we sign this guy? He makes me King Shark. I mentioned that on the Perry Puck podcast. Link in the description, episode 17. I was on it, I did it last night. They posted it this morning. Uh, it was an absolute blast doing it with uh, with Noel, uh, Zach Nolan, and uh, and uh, Jake from Peg City Hockey. It was great doing it with those two guys. Um, check it out, it's probably my favorite out of channel thing that I've done for the for the channel, even more so than uh, the previous Prairie Puck podcast on, uh, appearing on on Talking Habs channel, which was amazing, and uh, definitely more so than than the, the appearing on Hot Takaki's channel. I felt like kind of phoned that the, the playoff appearance in because I when I talked about the Canadians and how they could go far, I kind of I feel like I kind of phoned it in a little for that video. But um, Savard, yeah, he's he's garbage. He is really bad. To answer the question, usually crappy second periods or empty losses. Exactly, Pavo. And thank you guys. Uh, they commit the death and lose is winning 75. Now 83%. Are we done this season? Golden trash? Probably. Uh, probably. Harry, hold on. Hey, the Orca. How's it going, man? Fucking Petri. Yeah, trying to ruin our season by injuring Allen. Exactly, Gabriel. I, I, I mentioned that. As soon as that happened, I was like, oh my god, Petri pushed Larkin, didn't he? And then they showed the replay, and yeah, I just went off on on PG for a minute. <laughs> hey, hey TBI, how's it going, man? Uh, TFS, let's go. But uh, but yeah, Petrie, dude, we're whoo, we're gonna we're gonna get to Petrie, believe me. Ken Dog, GG's man, GG's, you guys fought, you guys deserve the win. Doping lines for the Canadians were Hoffman, Suzuki, fuck any chance again the season back. Yeah, Allen fucking died. Allen fucking died. Marcus, yeah, at least we got a point. We're not trying to because we're trying to tank. But at least we got a point. At least we got uh, paling a goal tonight. The, uh, spoiler. The opening lights for the – I swear Alan was the only thing that kept me watching games. Gabriel, same here, man. Yeah, you got the first win against you guys, and it was the last game, I'm pretty sure, that we uh, faced you guys. OT curses back. Hell yeah, Enzi. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy about that. You know, I'm happy it's back because I want a fucking tank. At this point, I just want a tank. Um – but uh, but yeah, um, Mark Stone is back. Hey, let's go, Marcus. Uh, Ken Dog, because I don't know. Surprise, we usually face four times. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Montebo played great. After allowing those two uh, kind of iffy uh, goals, he played really good, in my opinion. I mean, hey, Ken Dog, you guys are competitive. You guys aren't getting chained, right? <laughs> Harry, there's Eichel jerseys in Vegas shops, Vegas sports store shops. Now, that's awesome, Marcus. That's kind of funny, actually. Fuck's sake, one nothing Vancouver. Jesus, Marcus. But the opening lines, sorry. Opening lines for the Canadians were Hoffman, Suzuki, Toffoli. What's the point of even trying now? We won't make the playoffs anyways. Shane Wright dropped to number two in the draft rankings. Really, Gabriel? How can the Habs rebuild too many contracts that are long-term? Randy, start trading them. Trade Pucci for a third if that's what you have to. I don't. I maybe trade Gallagher. I've kind of been iffy on that. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I love that, Pablo. Yeah, that's surprising. Shane Wright's fallen to number two. So, yeah, that's really surprising. Every single one I've seen, he's still first. Really, Marcus? Uh, yeah. Uh, who said that? I'm the big dumb. I lost that. Uh, who said that? Gabriel, yeah. Where'd you see that, man? Where'd you see that? Uh, Owen, uh, Owen, thank you for coming by, man. How? I have no clue. Marcus, you check every day. Yeah. Can't blame you. You're a big draft guy. Uh, Hoffman, Suzuki, Toffoli. I would love to have a line of Larkin, Wright, Raymond, Ken Dog, and I'd love to have a line of Wright, uh, Suzuki, and Caulfield. Yeah, I wonder who's number one if Wright's number two. I heard it on Talking Habs. Really, Gabriel? Damn. Interesting. 
Uh, but the opening lines were Hoffman, Suzuki, Tofoli, Anderson, Dvorak, Gallagher, Lekkanen, Evans, Armia, and Pazetta, Paling, Balzil, Sharat, Petrie, Kulak, Savard, and Romanov, Weidman are the uh, defense pairings. I put, sorry, I'd love a line of Matthews, McDavid, McKinnon, but we don't get what we want. I mean, mark us, the Olympics we might. Aren't they all Canadian? <laughs> Aren't they all Canadian? <laughs> uh jake allen gets to start net if we tank we'll pick bob barker dixon that would be f really funny i'd like that i put jake allen gets to start net samuel montembeau will start tomorrow versus boston yeah oh yeah mirror chink and uh chinka beacon binka or uh lambert <laughs> pizzetta yeah pizzetta is kind of a goon oh fuck i'm Matthews is american <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot Matthews from Phoenix. Evening, gentlemen. Yep, we're done. Hell yeah, Dan. I don't want anyone fired either. If anything, find a way to add more fuel to this tire fire. We have got to commit a rebuild. Go Habs go in 2023. Dan, I agree with you, man. The only one I want fired is still Ducharme. But, uh, but yeah, if you can keep the general core off-ice officials, then I'm fine with that. But, yeah, if you can start trading guys like, say, Petrie, Savard, obviously, you could probably get a third, maybe a fourth for Weidman. If uh, maybe a third, even if he keeps producing at the deadline, um, I, I love him, but maybe Armia, maybe you got to trade Armia, you know, maybe Anderson to Foley, you know, just get a lot of your young guys out, get a lot of your young guys. Um, who's a player comparable of right? He looks like Druan, really catch up dick. I've never seen what uh, right looks like. Um, yeah, Dello Ducharme's got to go. Fire Ducharme this, this next fire Ducharme this summer after the draft catch up. I'd love that, honestly. I'd love that. Uh, well, fire Ducharme next season. We need him for the tank. That is true, Pablo. We probably will, honestly. Another great Saturday night with a Leafs win and a Habs loss. Well, I mean, hey, David, at least we know how to develop our rookies. Can we normalize calling him Dildo Ducharme? Gabriel, I think we should, man. Don't get me wrong, I want everyone fired, just not until the end of the can't blame me, Dan. I mean, I want to keep Bergevin. If you'll let me have that, you can have everyone else gone, except Burroughs. Burroughs and Bergevin. I like guys with the name B, apparently. <laughs> oh, and here's the thing. I thought Sherrod had a really good game. I thought Sherrod wasn't amazing as he's been the last three games, but he had a decent enough game. I thought he was decent enough. Gabriel, I'd love it even more. Yeah, if he got fired, like, tomorrow, you know? He should have been fired, like, four days ago. Um, but we are going to have, yeah, Edvinson, Edvinson and uh, Suter. You guys are set for defense. Jesus. Um, opening lines for the Red Wings were Bertuzzi, Larkin, Redmond, or sorry, Bertuzzi, Larkin, Red, uh, Raymond. I probably should have not combined that. Yeah. When you got away with a couple of penalties, but I mean, eh, whatever. Oh shit. Yeah. Guy Boucher for the B squad. That actually would be nice. Having him as an assistant coach. That actually be really nice. Boucher, Bergevin, Burroughs. I like that. The triple B I'm going to shoot my, Oh, I, <laughs> I read that completely differently. I'm going to shoot my foot to nothing. Vancouver rip. Uh, is Cole Caulfield a shoo-in for the Calder Trophy? David, next year, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Brother's doing a lot better. Hey, thank you, Marcus. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Gabriel, I like the way Burroughs runs the power play, actually. I'm, uh, me, Zach, and, uh, and, and Peg City Hockey mentioned it on the Perry Prep Podcast. Again, link in the description last night. I, that they mentioned, and I kind of, I agreed with them. Burroughs is, the way he ran the power play was really, really solid in the, in the, in the playoffs, I really liked how he's running the power play. I think he's getting more used to it. And I, I just really like the way he's running it. The only thing I would switch at this point is uh, to Foley and Hoffman literally switching. Literally switching where they are, in my opinion. Uh, Guy Boucher, fuck, bring him in. Yeah, Dan, might as well at this point. BRB, yeah, Boucher, Wall, Burroughs. Oh, that'd be sick, Ketchup Dick. I'd actually like that. I just wish... Gabriel, I like Weidman off on the on the power play units. I mean, it's funny. He's getting all his points. It's funny. He, he's getting all his points on, on the even strength when he's been brought in for the power play. I just kind of I, – I find that funny. But it's great that he's getting points for uh, even strength. Uh, yeah, Caulfield's regaining confidence, Owen. Yeah, he uh, – dude, uh, dude scored today. I think he's point per game. Four points in three games because I know he has two assists in three – no, four points in four games. Sorry. Wait, no. That's not how that works. Three, yeah, four points in three games. Yeah, I'm dumb. He's above point per game. Hell yeah. One point, two, five points per game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, where am I? Uh, my birthday's coming up. Hey, happy birthday in advance, Ken Dog. Happy birthday up. Happy birthday in advance. In advance, not advanced. Not We're not talking about advanced stats right now. Yeah, Utica got trolled. Yeah, Gabriel, I saw. They posted on Twitter. 
Uh, after Caulfield scored to tie the game, they put, we are no longer answering any DMs or mentions today or looking at them. It was really funny. Yeah, yeah B-Baller, sadness for sure, man. What goalie do we got flying in? Dixon, probably Caden Primo. It wouldn't surprise me if it's Caden Primo, honestly. Oh, oh, what if we sign Tuka Rask for like a one-day type of deal? That'd be fucking hilarious in my opinion. Uh, I miss Kirk Muller. Ends again. I kind of liked Kirk Muller. I, I, I think that'd be cool if he came back. Um, yeah, Pavel. Yeah, Caulfield, Paling, Norlander, consistent ice time this season. Let them develop. Yeah, Pavel. Perfect time, I think, in my opinion. Kirk Muller fucking sucked. Really, Gabriel. Why do you? Why do you think? Um, hey, Ken Doggle. Happy, happy early birthday, buddy. But the opening lines for the Wings were Bertuzzi, Larkin, Raymond, Raymond Fabry, Suter, and uh, Zadena. Petrie said he'll go in net next game for his mistake. Catch up, Dick. Well, fuck, we're ready to lose like 83 to 1. Because we'll always, we'll somehow get one. Uh, Nemestikov, uh, Zadena, sorry. Uh, oh, and I miss Paul Byron, or strangely enough. I kind of miss him too. Uh, Nemestikov, and Ernie. Uh, and Gagne, Stevens, Rowney. Our power play wasn't that great with him. Yeah, Gabriel, understandable. Uh, ANZ is in favor of that. I noticed it is so easy for opposing teams to skate through a neutral zone, yet we have big problems doing that with other teams. Yeah, Dan, understandable. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, they, they probably aren't the greatest. I mean, a lot of them are, are French because we have to have French coaches, so a lot of them probably don't know what they're doing. Not because they're French, just because we have to hire French people because we're a French organization. You, you get what I mean. You guys know what I mean. He would be the first goalie to be with the Leafs, Bruins, and Habs. Really, Anze, well, you know what? Fuck it. Make it happen. Rask, please. One year, 700000 We'll buy you out right after. We will buy you out after tomorrow's game. Please. Hopefully he's back by the end of December. Uh, Owen, apparently, I think that's the report is that he should be back by the end of December. The Kaiser, Sider, Letty, Horn, Hornack, and Stahl, Lindstrom were the defense pairings. Alex Delkovich gets the start, and Grice backs him up yet again. I uh, actually wasn't ready for the notes this time. Uh, I, was, I was not ready for the notes this time. I was doing something with my dad downstairs. That sounds really bad, but I was doing something uh, with uh, auditorily with my dad. And I uh, couldn't, uh, we finished right as the game was about to start, like a minute before the game was about to start. Um, Cause we were testing out some audio equipment. I'll say we were testing out some audio equipment and uh, let's just say it's going to be something that uh, it's probably going to be coming out in the next week or so. Probably something that's going to be coming out for the, in the next week. Hopefully. Hey, what the hell happened to honking antelope? Yeah, Gabriel. I don't know. I don't, I have no clue. The one stupid decision from the Canadians, and it's the fact that, mo yeah, exactly, TVI. The coaches must be French. Or, yeah, French-Canadian, I should say. Yeah, they have to be French-Canadian, it seems. Uh, Ducharme, Julien, Terrien, I'm not sure who's the shittiest. Dan, I think uh, probably Ducharme, honestly. If I had to rank them, probably uh, Julien, Terrien, Ducharme, probably. This just in the Habs have called up. Gabriel, so like, it's it's confirmed the Habs have called up Caden Primo. Really? True, Pablo. Let's not speak honking into existence. True. What's your top three fast foods? Marcus, uh, McDonald's, number one, no doubt about it. Number two, probably Wendy's. And number three, uh, I don't know, probably a little fast food place around here called Bravo. I like their fries a lot. What's your go-to McDonald's order? 20-piece chicken McNuggets, medium fry, used to be a large, uh, and occasionally a uh, occasionally a medium uh, vanilla milkshake. Fuck it, I'm French, hire me. I'll make sure they eat a lot of pizza, have a great game, great time before each game, and tank this team properly. Hell yeah, Dan, let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. Ducharme, oh yeah, yeah Gabriel, I agree. McNuggets, hell yeah, love that 20-piece McNuggets. 20-piece McNuggets, like a large fry, I love that. And so, yeah, I can see why people would hate McDonald's. I can see that. Uh, when is Perot coming back? Owen, I think I think next week is when he comes back. Big Mac and Sprite, really. Um, I usually get a Chicken Legend, large fries, and large strawberry milkshake. I don't think they have Chicken Legends over here, unless it's just under a different name. Oh, Chicken Sandwich, yeah, they don't have it. I don't think they have those here, unless I'm just dumb. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm all cut up, so yeah. So if it's confirmed, yeah, that Caden Primo's coming up, then yeah, Caden Primo is probably going to play, play tomorrow. Montembeau played tonight unless somehow uh oh day uh, marcus oh sorry mine is mcdouble plain combo fries iced tea no ice and if i'm really hungry an order of nuggets damn i don't know i would probably drop that mcdouble and uh, just get the nuggets <laughs> if i can't tell for 10 days thank you owen so Bart's probably on a mcdonald's getting other ice cream uh for his great work tonight ketchup dick it wouldn't uh it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me actually wait scrap the big mac junior Mc, mcchicken Pablo, I've never had the McChicken. It sounds 
really good, though. Hey, Gabriel, let's go, man. Go into the Kraken game on the 16th for your 16th birthday. Hey, let's go. Or in March, you're going to the game. I don't know why I thought it was on the 16th. Congratulations, Gabriel, and happy, uh, happy early birthday. Yeah, McNevin could have been another option. I would have liked to see McNevin probably before Primo. I understand they want to build Primo up to be the future starter once Price is starting to uh, decline in probably three to four years. Well, he's like 34. Yeah, but about three to four years seems about right for how good he's played <laughs> in the playoffs. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I I would like to see McNevin get a chance. I would really like to see him get a get an opportunity. Uh, my best friend wants a two poutines at once. Jesus, uh, Mc, uh, Popeyes Popeyes chicken joints are blowing up here in Vancouver. Long lineups, same same elsewhere. Dan, I'd have no clue because I barely go out. <laughs> I barely go out. Um, when I went snowboarding in Colorado, I had an order of fries. They were so good. It was a good amount, but it cost me $9. Large was 13. Me, it was a medium. Jesus. Yeah, definitely not Kevin Poulin. Jesus. But, uh, yeah, Marcus, I once went to La Ronde, um, in the Quebec area. I don't think it's giving too much personal info if I just say in the Quebec area. Well, in Quebec, in the province of Quebec. And it was so good. It, it, it's so good. The fries were amazing. Uh, I, I went on one roller coaster and I hated it. <laughs> I went on with one of my friends at the time and I was just like, oh God, I don't like that. And then I didn't go on any. There was one I wanted to go on. It's the one that just like you get on it, you strap in it, just like swings you around for like a minute and then you get off. I really would have liked to go on that one, but it was like, oh no, damn. Yeah, and it was probably 10 years ago actually. I, or no, uh, probably nine years ago. I think I went in fifth grade is when we went. But uh, it was a fun time, and the fries, the oh, no, no, it wasn't uh, La Ronde, I don't think. I think it was when we went uh, another place, and I got the fries. They were really, really good. Playoff price needs to be released early if the Canadians don't want to tank. TBI, well, we want to tank. Exactly, the fans want to tank. McNevins did an interview a couple weeks back saying he doesn't like how he's been managed in Montreal because he hasn't had many chances to play in the NHL. Yeah, I, I can see what he means. I can see what he means. Hey, let's go, NCA. I only had – there we go. Uh, I want the Isles to tank too. Hey, TBI. No, no, no. You got a cup contender, buddy. I've been to Montreal once before. It was on November 10th, 2018 against Vegas. Oh, really, Gabriel? Oh, and you think Gooley will play this year? No, I think they're going to I think they're going to give him the full year. I think we're going to give Mc, uh not McNeva Norlander a chance before we give Gooley a chance in my opinion. Uh uh I only had Putin a few times. I've never had Putin actually. Nice nice we can both say we went to a half Hey, let's go in the game. Uh, have you ever been to Blue Mountain, Ontario? Uh, no, I've never gone to Ontario. Great slopes and great food. Yeah, I've never gone there. Never gone there. I want to go to Canada. Hey, let's go, Marcus. Hey, no problem, man. I mean, TVI, it's one game. It's not not, not too bad. It's just one game. Um, bottom three current half players, Ketchup Dick, Savard, Pazetta, Petrie. Those are probably my third. Yeah, yeah, I've never had poutine. I don't like gravy, and I, I really don't care for cheese. So if you gave me poutine without the cheese and without the gravy, I'd have it. So basically, I would have fries. <laughs> they can't be black fries either. I don't like the brown fries. They have a weird taste to me. I love the uh, the straight up, uh, straight up regular white fries. Poutine, <laughs> ura. No, damn, damn, damn. It sucks, sucks to see it go, man. <laughs> what's the discord again gabriel it is the link in is a link in the description uh, top link i believe a second top link because right at the top is the prairie Puck podcast this time uh yeah marcus it's a little bit weird you don't like gravy but you still kind of like it. that's kind of interesting uh what even is putin tbi it is uh fries curded cheese curdled cheese i think and gravy that's pretty much what it is and i think you can add like other like little sauces or whatever on it uh, yeah at least suzuki gets a shot for an olympic spot i'd be fine with that yeah, I catch up Dick Strat's been playing great recently in the last six games or so. I he's left the bottom three. I'm happy, but I know you aren't. Can't blame me, Cameron. Plot twist. I mean, indeed, technically I have had Putin then. If we're going by that, technically I have had Putin before. Yeah, curdled cheese or something like that. David, yeah, you love Putin. You cheer for the Leafs. Understandable. Yeah, Gianni Fever Brother, I think he's gonna be in Laval the whole year. I, I think he's going to uh I think he's gonna be coming up next year, maybe. Um depends. Game over. Damn TBI, bro. 
Uh, Red Wings iced the puck twice early on in the game. I'm sorry for how poorly they're doing as a Red Wings fan. Hey, yeah, uh, Nicola? I'm, I believe that's how you say your name, Nicola. Nicola? My apologies if I butchered it. Uh, thank you for coming by, firstly. And, uh, yeah, it was it was a great game. It was really, really back and forth. Really loved how uh, – oh, cheese curds, not curdled cheese. Okay. Great introduction for people. Great introduction for people. Cheese curds, not curdled cheese. I – I'm the big stupid. Uh, one is delicious. One is rotten cheese. Yes. One is uh, delicious. The other is cheese curds. No, but <laughs> no, but seriously. Uh, yeah, it was a great game, Nicola. It was really great. But, hey, don't apologize. We love the tank. We're we're in the pain for Shane at this point. We are pure pain for Shane. Really, Enzi. There's a restaurant that makes Putin, Putin, Putin kind of in Germany, really. TBI, what's up, man? Crazy game tonight for sure, Cameron. Absolutely. Yeah, Cider Raymond are looking good. Yeah, oh, and I really liked how they looked tonight. They played pretty good. At least you got a point. My connector up 2 nothing. 10 minutes left in the first. Hey, Clifford, how's it going, man? Thank you for coming by. Uh, you have forgotten something. Uh, just tell me now, Watermelon, because I'm on I have Discord open. Oilers over Leafs plus Montreal. I mean, Ray, bro. I mean, you guys lost to the Sabres, so <laughs> I think that is Arizona. Damn, Cameron. Roast beef poutine with red onions. I've never had that. Uh, Materwell and oh yeah, what, whatever your Discord name is. Uh, Habs had some good pressure. Sharat then took an interference penalty against Todd, Tyler Bertuzzi. Uh, we're able to kill it off. Wings had a lot of pressure. We were one for one on the PK tonight. Then we scored. It was a turnover to Chris Weidman, up for Pizzetta, and uh, just gets it to Ryan Palin. Great shot that just beats Adelkovich with a screen in front, and Habs led one nothing. Haha, <laughs> Sabres lost. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it, man. Oh, and yeah, I'm pretty excited for the, the for the Olympics. Depending on the times of the games, I'm probably going to try. Yes, uh, TV, TFS, I do remember that. But then you kind of left, so I couldn't do that. I just posted a vid in the Discord. Hey, Gabriel, thank you, man. I'll check it out after the stream. Um, But yeah, great goal for Paling. Really happy to see him get his first this year. And uh, it was 1-0 Habs. Uh, Zidane right after, though, looking for a tying goal with a really good breakaway chance. But Alan makes the good save. Makes a good save. Uh, Allen actually had a few more really good glove saves on the wings. Habs then iced the puck with a tired group out. Fazetta got on a near breakaway, just fell over, just chopped at the puck. Really nice hustle by him, I got to admit. Uh, Weidman from center ice. Puck almost bounced past Nettie. He was able to grab it, though. Group A, China, USA, Germany, and Canada. All right. Leafs had a horseshoe up their bum. Did you see the way they won? No, I did not, Clifford. Uh, wasn't it in overtime? Cause I know John went live saying, Oh, Morgan Riley game winning goal. That's all I saw. I was like, Oh, okay. We have an AHL goalie tandem for God knows Jacob. <sighs> just embrace the tank at this point. You almost kind of have to embrace the tank surprised by 53%. They commit the death and lose is only is, is winning by only 53%. And for some reason I can't click it. I hear China is really going to make some noise. This Olympics. I'm sure they will. Heinz in the chat. Damn Germany, tough group. Let's go, Heinz. Heinz in the chat. I'm worried because my video I'm uploading is stuck at 21%, and I don't like that. Last year, I mean, hey, TBI. Who knows? Yeah, China sucks at hockey. I agree, man. Scored 12 seconds left. Damn, Cameron. Damn. I'm surprised John didn't go live for the whole game. He's usually uh, live for his uh, Maple Queefs games. Um, I, TBI, I can't reveal it. If Palin keeps playing well, do we trade Paquette? Uh, conservative lawyer, if we can get a sixth for him, then yeah. Marcus, I agree with you, man. Play lots of hopium being smoked here. Exactly, Dan. Exactly. I agree with you, man. I, I'm surprised 47% people think uh, Habs win. Marcus, I, I will guarantee you that you do not know the video. I wouldn't be surprised if they beat Kent. Really, Owen? Germany can be a dark horse like in 2018. Surprised. Really, first time there's a summer and winter. Oh, yeah, true. Unless the, wait, first time ever? I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised it's the first year. Um, uh, Where am I? <laughs> Leafs choked away a 4-2 lead, then scored with 11.8. Jesus, Clifford. That's hilarious, honestly. At least China has a hockey team. Yeah, Japan and Kazakhstan don't even exist. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, they still get featured in the NHL. Like, I'm happy with it because I love – Getting to destroy Japan, <laughs> not because they're Japanese, obviously, just they're the lowest overall team, and I love it. But um, but yeah, it's it's just so fun destroying them, getting like a hundred plus points. Trade for every first round pick on the NHL, King Shark. There's no chance 
the Canadians would be able to do that. I honestly think the plan this year was to have a center core of Suzuki, Dvorak, Paling, and Evans. Evans wasn't fully recovered from his wrist injury yet. And yeah, Jacob, I agree with you, man. I, I, I think that's the case as well. And the only reason we're playing him fourth line is because we're just getting him back into the groove and then we'll eventually get him in as the third line center. When Grubauer is hot, he's hard to beat. Oh, and yeah, I agree, man. Uh, dry saddle, yeah, dry saddle is going to be a leader. No doubt about it. Yeah, you're not the only one. Yeah, Japan and Great Britain, those are the teams to destroy. Sorry, TFS. And sorry, any Japanese viewers if I have one. Because actually, I know I have one. Some guy named Kane. Hasn't come in in a while, but yeah, I know he's Japanese. Sorry, sorry, Kane, about that. And they have young talent like Stutzel and Sider. That is true. Oh, and I keep forgetting Stutzel is German for some reason. We literally have Joseph Wall in that. Jesus. Wait, Joseph Wall was in that. Wow, Joseph Wall was in that. That's I didn't even know that. That is that was amazing. That is incredible. Um oof, rip. All right, let me uh let me let me let me let me let me 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 me. All right, where am I? Dry Cell is German too. Yeah, Clifford. Yep. Group B, uh the uh ROC, totally not the Russians. Switzerland, Czech, and Denmark. Damn. Kind of ironic. I destroyed them playing in Japanese consoles. Really? You, you, really? That's kind of funny, NCA. Trade Ducharme to the Leafs for the rights of David Ayers. King Shark, I'd love that. Yeah, the fucking stack for sure, man. Yeah, I know the British hockey team is dog water. Let's go with TVI. Thank you, man. I'm glad I'm glad you at least aren't biased. Um, Habs ice the puck, like I said. Okay. Red Wings pressured uh, one wing. I didn't see who it was. Got in on a breakaway. Should have been a tripping on us, in my opinion. I'm surprised that wasn't... Um, very surprised that wasn't a, a penalty. Harry, do you still think Galley should be our next captain? Nope, Gabriel. I've actually changed my mind on that. If not, then who? Um, OMG, I meant, hey, Harry, you look good. Thank you. Damn, Marcus. Thank you, man. I hope it's primo. Me too, man. Lol, I swear I'm not gay. Marcus, sure. We we rule the waves, but we definitely don't rule the fucking ice. Yes, dude. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you there. Uh, Gabriel, who do I think should be captain, if not Galley? Um, I've kind of joined the majority of people. and I think Suzuki should be the next captain. By the way, you guys can't hear me, right? <laughs> I, I'm, you guys would have mentioned it by now, but the thing on the bottom is not saying that I'm talking or it's not showing the little green ball showing that I am talking. So I just want to make sure that I, you guys can hear me, right? You guys aren't just reading my lips all the time. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping you guys can. All right, volume's all good. All right, thank you guys. Switzerland could ruffle r rush those feathers, but their goaltending is weak. Yeah. I can understand. Yes, make Weidman the next guy. Damn, Mark. I'm, I'm, I'm sad you can't hear me, man. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> um, but yeah, Red Wings buzzed. They almost scored a few times. Habs had a little bit of pressure, but they weren't able to get another goal. Or as I put, get another score. Make Pazetta captain. Yes, NDA. That's why I wouldn't be shocked if Denmark even beat them. Really, Owen. Interesting. Ehlers is from Denmark. I didn't know Nick Ehlers was from Denmark. I didn't know that. Um... And then we went to the PK. Michael Pozzetta got called for hooking. Make Daddy Byron or Xavier Roulette the next captain. Gabriel, we can't make Roulette the next captain. He's already captain of Laval. He can't be a double captain just yet. Habs looks solid on the PK, not letting Habs get much pressure. So we were two for two in the PK tonight. Uh, then the reminders for Pozzetta and Cider, both of them called for roughing. And then here's where we get into the big thing. Can you do the Will Wilson Weidman for good times. Oh, the wide wide Willie. All right, King Shark. Shameless for the answer from Denmark. All right. I, I forget how he does it, but isn't it something like that? Something like that? I think that's how he does it. The wide Willie. Let's go. Uh, but Jeff Petrie, chance for his captaincy. Yeah, Gabriel, that'd be a good idea. I actually would like that. Uh, <laughs> Group C is Finland, Sweden, Slovakia, Latvia. Yeah, I, I could see any three of those guys, actually. Deal or no deal? To Montreal, Lucas Raymond to Detroit, Romanoff and Caulfield. No deal, Marcus. No deal. Caulfield is going to easily be a 40-goal scorer in the NHL. Raymond is good, but I'd rather Caulfield and Romanoff. Romanoff is going to be really, really solid. Um, why can't we win, Harry? Jack, it's a mix of shit. Honestly, if you want my reasons why, I'm not, why we're not winning, check out the Prairie Puck podcast. I appeared on it last night. It was just uploaded today. And... Um, yeah, check it out. Check it out. It's it's cool. I loved being on it. It's really funny, especially the last 10 minutes. They're hilarious. But check out the whole thing if you guys want my thoughts on uh if you guys want my thoughts on why the Canadians aren't winning this year. Harry Aaron Dell's Xbox controller has battery and couldn't even make a save. Damn high quality rip. 
Yeah, I think it'll be between Finland and Sweden. I think Switzerland, I think uh, Slovakia is going to be a little bit, uh, they're going to be a little ruffling, you know? It's like fuck it, trading fucking Brock Nelson and Elias Rorkin for Brendan Tanev and Vince Dunn. I mean, TBI, I'm sure you'd be interested. <laughs> I'm sure you would be. Oh, shit, Mark, is this a fight now? Oh, nice. Who? Um, Yeah, in Vegas game. Yeah, who? Romanoff needs to play on three on, plays on, play, yeah. Vision's insane. Yeah, he can carry the play for sure, Jacob. He, sure, sure man. Yes, King Shark. In summer, yeah, we're playing because Ducharme's style is garbage. McNabb rocked Pug Coles and damn, yeah, Marcus. He got deked rip. TV, come on, TV. Are you trying to tell me you wouldn't be interested in that? The mega deal right there. Um, But yeah. And then this is uh, where the thing happens. Jeff Petrie pushes Dylan Larkin into Jake Allen. I put, what the fuck are you doing, Petrie? Why are you turning into Alexei Emile? Allen looked to be okay. I put, hopefully he's all right. Yeah, it was very similar to the Alexei Emile thing, except instead of tripping up Chris Kreider, he pushed Dylan Larkin. Um, well, David, the Canadians can't win because they're a mediocre team. Well, David, if we're a mediocre team, we beat the Leafs last year, so I guess the Leafs are an even more mediocre team. Rip. Ducharme's system is built on Price being being God when Price isn't God or isn't playing. Exactly, Jacob. Randy, how's it going, man? OEL two or five, for, two or five for fighting, and McNab McNab could revive more. All right. Habs need to change style of hockey. Bring Laviolette. I'd bring Torts in before Peter Laviolette. I'd bring Torts, but I'm pretty sure he's rumored to go to not the Rangers. He's rumored to go somewhere else, isn't he? Um, to change the thinking on defense first. I agree, Randy. I agree. We need to start doing, um, I agree. We need to start doing more just offense. We need to have offense. Overall rankings, U.S., Russia, Finland, Sweden, Canada, number five. Czech, Germany, Slovakia, Latvia, Denmark, and in a distant 12th, China. <laughs> uh, Larkin's response, yeah, exactly. It was having a two-goal game. Uh, OEL forming a penalty, Really? Hey, Ray, just check out the podcast you're on. Hey, Gabriel, thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. I'm sorry it was a little bit laggy. My webcam was kind of on and off, but uh, I'm glad you guys uh, have enjoyed the podcast. We got a four-minute power play. Thank you. To think some guy told me the Canadians are finished, I told him not as much Chicago. Let's go, NZA. Chicago should hire ho- torts, but I don't think – yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with them. If you guys saw the response he had to the Kyle B situation, yeah, he wouldn't. I mean, David, isn't every year the Leafs here, and then they always choke in the first round? Isn't that always the, the thing with you guys? AI, oh, all you got to do is beat the Leafs in the game is, say, the number seven constantly. It's an automatic win. Yeah, King Shark, it seems like it. Garland to the box stays five on four. Really? Really? I didn't know that. Uh, but Habs then went to the power play. It was a four on three. Bertuzzi gets called for slashing. Uh, Savard's calf. I put Savard's call for a second, I thought. But uh, for slashing, Savard's uh, calf. I dropped Thompson, got a good a goal and an assist, and Dvorak, who I picked up, did nothing. I lost a bandit. Damn, Fazio, that's a big ripper. That's a big ripper right there. Um, Allen got pulled with 15 seconds left. Montembeau will go in. It was apparent. It was a likely concussion spotters that pulled him, as my my dad's uh, my dad mentioned and brought up to me. Uh, Hoffman hit the post. He got two really good looks late in the period. Harry, check your main server. I'll do it. Uh, high quality. Eight C Germany versus nine C Slovakia. Oh yeah, Germany would take that in my opinion. I think Slovakia would fight, but yeah, Germany would probably take it. Germany's ranked fifth. Really, Heinz. Probably just because of dry sidle and Stutzel, I would assume. Never mind two minutes to change it. Damn. I benched JVR and he got a goal. Well, Fangio, I be- he, to make it even better, I benched uh, Dar- Dawson Mercer. I benched Dawson Mercer. If you don't know, he got a two-goal game today. Oh, we all got decked by a right punch. Oh, Jesus, Marcus. I really hope – yeah, Jacob, I hope Allen's not playing tomorrow. And it's not because I like he's been bad. He's just – Precaution, exactly, Jacob. I, I just hope he doesn't play due to precaution. Like, I hope he's back in Tuesday, I think, would be our next game, or Wednesday, I think. I hope he's back in then looking good. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. China is going to get smacked by, uh, by fucking Canada. Uh, fucking Canada's going to smack China. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a 23-8, uh, 23 to 1 win. They'll let China get one just to be nice. Red Wings will be a contender this year, maybe. The kids have a good chemistry. Wait till Jacob ran and Bobby Ryan. Do you guys have Bobby Ryan? Or I thought you guys didn't resign Ryan. Or is he just injured? Um, but man, yeah, I don't know if they'll be a contender. I'd say they're more of a dark horse. The, the the kids have definitely been great. They have great chemistry together for you guys. 
And uh, yeah, once Rams have uh, Bobby Ryan, if they're there when they're back in the lineup, you guys should be good. I think you guys are going to be a dark horse, not necessarily to win the cup, but you guys are definitely going to could definitely take a take a, a series or two. I think depending on who you play. It's sorry, Canada, Finland, Russia, and USA. Russia, USA, Germany, Czech, Sweden, Switzerland, Slovakia, Latvia, Norway. You're about to lose Rip Fazio. I think the plan is to get final experience, take a year to regroup, get right, go in the year after, trade for Perry back, get the guys back and win it all. King Shark, I, I'd love that. Three guys in the penalty box. Jesus. Uh, six seed Switzerland versus 11 seed Denmark. I could see Denmark. Yeah, I could see that, actually. I could kind of see that, too, for some reason. Seven seed. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Czechs winning over Latvia, no doubt. That's that's one that's going to be not close. Denmark could be solid. Ehlers, Freddie, and some. I don't know about Denmark. Um, I, I'm not Denmark. I thought you were talking about uh fucking Latvia, but yeah, no, De Denmark. I could see pulling off the upset. The upset. Um, at least you're winning. Yeah, true, Fadja. One seed USA, eight seed, eight seed Germany. Yeah, USA is too good for the Germans. I'm sorry, Heinz, but yeah, USA realistically should be able to beat the Germans unless Drysaddle can go Oilers mode and just carry them. So the end of the first, the Habs led one nothing. Shots were nine to eight. Uh, Montembeau gets the rest of the game. Uh, Allen would not come back into the game. I'll confirm right now. Uh, Habs were able to score. Start the second, so we were 0 for one of the power play. And then Dylan Larkin tied the game from the red line. Uh, much like uh, Caulfield's goal tonight, actually, just along the, the red line, just boom, shot it, and just kind of boom, right above the shoulder, and scores on that. That's one Montembeau has to get. And then the Red Wings led. 45 seconds later, Poon Sider gets the goal because Savard uh, goes to Montembeau and says, hey, look at my ass. And so Montembeau can't make the save. It's 2-1 to one Wings. I put fuck you, Jeff Petrie, because Petrie is the reason we were losing this game at that point. Uh, uh, Heinz, who's your goaltending? Who is uh, Germany's goaltending? Krevsov, Suzuki, Caulfield to make a good line. Yes, King Shark. I want Krevsov. If the rumor trade of Sherrod for Krevsov is true, I want that. Because Bergevin is known to trade for underutilized, underappreciated talents. Philip Deneau, for one. Um, Jeff Petrie, for another. And turn them into mostly really good goal. Really good players. They're really good players. So Krevsov, we could transition into the left wing and get Krevsov, Suzuki, Caulfield for, say, next season. Or get Krevsov in like a second, third line role. I am absolutely down for that. I am absolutely fine with trying him there. I benched Orloff and Sherrod and got two goals combined. Rip Foggio. Rip, uh, sorry, four seed Sweden versus five seed Canada was close. Yeah, Canada, I think. I think Canada's going to, but I could definitely see Sweden uh, winning there as well. I could have been winning. Rip. Italy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italy and uh, France is still in. 13.6 seconds left. Dadnoff. Finally, Dadnoff gets his first as a Vegas Golden Knight or a second. Three seed Finland versus eleven seed Denmark. Finland's the top class team. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, Finland's probably gonna wreck Denmark at that point. I hope the Canucks smoke the Golden Knights tonight. Damn, Clifford, we got beef in here. He has four goals. Damn, he has really been doing better than I thought. Jesus. Uh, Hams. I went back to the power play. Nick Letty. King. Evans got involved with the scrum at the benches. Uh, Steven, uh, I put Mitchell Stevens was somehow hurt. Uh, somehow hurt. They mentioned during the intermission he slid into the boards. There was a lot of players that were signed, kind of slipping and sliding around uh, the ice, so that's how he was hurt. Habs weren't looking good at all right now. Montembeau made some really good saves, but we were 0 for 2 on the power play. That's right, Montembeau made really good saves on the PK. Want to go outside and arm wrestle? Damn, Marcus. Two seed Russia versus seven seed Czech. I understand Russia won last Olympics, but at some point I see them choking. I, I could see Czechs get to the second round personally. I could see them getting to the second round, and then that's where they lose personally. Red Wings pressured hard in the Hab zone for a time. Uh, Montembeau making really good saves as uh, Habs caused some turnovers, trying to get something on Nettie, but not too much. Uh, Maureen Sider they actually showed on a replay of a hit that he jumped into a hit with Mike Hoffman and laid an elbow into the head uh, of Hoffman. It wasn't super noticeable, but it was just a little, mm, you know, and then the jump, there was a jump. It should have been 10 in a game for the elbow to the head. Uh, it's weird. Uh, people, and I noticed this last playoffs, when the Jake Evans thing happened, there was a more dangerous play on the hit, on the, on the, on, there was no more dangerous hit in the play. And I think Talking Habs and the Prairie Puck podcast guys mentioned this as well. 
Again, link in the description. Um, they mentioned this. I'm pretty sure all those guys mentioned it. That at the same time, not the same time, but earlier, before the Evans hit happened, Logan Stanley threw an elbow into Corey Perry, went down, dude came right back up. It was a more dangerous play. It was a more dangerous play. And this is similar to that, where Mike Hoffman doesn't get hurt. That's why there's no play. That's why there's no call on the play. Was really hoping for a rematch this season, Canada's team versus Quebec's team. That won't happen. Well, I mean, hey, David, considering all of Canada was cheering for Montreal, then I'm surprised that you guys, that you think Toronto is Quebec's team. I'm surprised by that. Harry, what you think of Niku Hines? I like Niku, actually. I think he's a decent uh, bottom-pairing guy. Could maybe come up into the top four for a game or two if you need him there. Uh, really like what he brings uh, offensively. I, I really like his, his two game personally. I think his defense is a little bit underrated. He's not like fantastic defensively, but he's pretty decent. I, I like what he does. I like what he brings to a uh, brings to to a team like the Canadians. I think we could definitely utilize him again. Deno or Petrie, not to the extent where he's going to become a top pairing defenseman, but decent decent defenseman who could who could work well for us. One seed U.S. versus five five seed Canada. Yeah. That game can also go to like two or three overtimes if it's that close, in my opinion. Three seed Finland versus seven seed Czech. This is where the Czech's run comes to an end at the hands of the Finns. Damn. Uh, one seed USA versus uh, seven seed Czech for bronze. USA, I, I could see USA getting it. ASAP Serg, it's been a long time since you come in. Thank you for coming by, sir. How's it going, buddy? How is it going? A lot of you guys are coming by. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, Marcus, why'd you ban that? Why'd you hide that guy? Marcus, no, don't hide him. Owen, uh, Marcus, what the fuck? <laughs> Marcus, why would you hide Owen? <laughs> why, why, why'd you do that? <laughs> why'd you do that? Edmonton is Canada's team, Ray, bro. That's that's cap. Uh, luckily, Hoffman did look fine, but no penalty on the play. Was very surprised by that personally. Uh, Owen, again, I'm really sorry about that, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Five C. <laughs> I like how he, I like how he doesn't even be like, come on, I was banned. Just immediately puts it. Five seed Canada versus three seed Finland. I see Canada taking gold. Yeah. ASAP Serg. I heard you hate HTH. No. ASAP Serg. I don't hate HTH. I like HTH. Fucking love it. Dude, I'm sub to John. I appeared on his channel. I love John. Who told you that I hate HTH? I fucking love John. Dude's fucking awesome. Uh, it's weird. Okay. <laughs> That's it for the... Hey, Owen, don't worry about it, man. ASAP, where'd you hear that? That I hate... Let's join forces to take him down. ASAP, nah. I don't want to fucking take John down. I'm going to fucking... I want to keep him going, man. Fucking guys, right now, go go, go to Hot Take Hockey Channel. Give him a sub. Sub to Hot Take Hockey if you haven't yet. Um, Habs went to the PP shortly after Lindstrom got called for interference. Habs weren't able to get much again to Foley and Hoffman on opposite sides during the power play. This was brought up to me, I think last game or two games ago. Um, they were on the opposite side. So for example, Hoffman shoots left. He was playing on the left side to Foley shoots right. He was playing on the right side. ASAP Sergey banned me for no reason. What were you doing? Are you doing something in the streams or like, what? like what was going on when he banned you? Cause like. John doesn't typically ban people for no reasons. Some of his mods still get a little bit, a little bit dicey. But John himself, he won't ban people just for absolutely no reasons. In the hockey community, we don't do any taking down; we do supporting. Exactly, TBI. Oilers are Canada's team. I mean, McDavid. I wouldn't say he's the biggest. We are Canada. I mean, McDavid, biggest player. I guess I was being biased. Well, I mean, ASAP Serg. I love John, but even I'll admit. Dude's a little biased here and there. He's a little bit biased in his team. I will admit that. Uh, McDavid, biggest player in the league. Everyone sees the Oilers with McDavid. Now, I see the Oilers as fucking dry sidle. McDavid just rides his fucking coattails, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but yeah, Tafoli and Hoffman on opposite sides during the power play. So we didn't score. We were over two on the power play. Anderson had a decent move for attempted breakaway, but uh, passed blindly right past Romanoff. Really kind of bad, bad move there. Uh, Habs had a good rush. Hoffman gets a nice shot on top of the net. Uh, Cider Side, immediately gloves it. I believe that's supposed to be a delay a game. Uh, if someone could let me know. Um, uh, if someone could let me know if that's like meant, if that should be a penalty, I thought it should be because like you're preventing guys from being able to get the puck. I feel like putting your hand over the glove. Yeah, putting your hand over the puck is delay of game, I'm pretty sure. 
I mean, Aesop, I wouldn't say he's a clown. I wouldn't say John's a clown when he says he's not biased. He's just, he's just not <laughs> completely truthful. I, I get what he means, though. I get what he's trying to go for. You know, he's trying to be that relatable type of guy, you know, in terms of like, hey, I'm not biased. I'm a hockey fan. You know, I, I get what John's doing, and I like it, personally. At least Habs should get Savoy. I don't want any fucking French players that are supposed to go high. For me, it's Shane Wright. Or Matt Jim, whatever the fuck the guy's name is that apparently took first overall. Does anybody still watch Rick? Yeah, Heinz, I watch Rick occasionally. I don't anymore since that Matt guy joined. Yeah, I could see why you would find Matt annoying or just not like him. I don't mind. I don't mind Matt. He's he's a cool guy. He comes by the chats occasionally. He's pretty cool. But uh, I can see why people wouldn't like talking Habs since Matt joined. My only issue with him, my only issue with with Matt is the mic quality. That's literally the only thing I have. He, If he had a mic like mine, literally just a cheap SingStar mic, or if he got like a good quality mic, like I think that would improve uh, 100%. I'd love, I, I enjoy Matt actually. I, I'd say I enjoy him. I'd enjoy him more with, with Rick if he had a, a better quality mic. That's my only thing with him. Uh, yeah, Larry Mike, yeah, we all hold a sense. Exactly. Hey, let's go. Uh, Orca, thank you, man. Harry's the, oh, Heinz, thank you, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Heinz. I appreciate it. In a sense, we all hold a little bias. Yeah, Larry, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so like, yeah, ASAP Sirk. I wouldn't say like John's a clown for not admitting he's biased. He's tr he tries. I think he tries to be unbiased, but he does let it show sometimes. Like especially when the Maple Leafs are winning after there's been a lot of trolls in the chat or in playoff series. He and then, like, there's one thing that was brought up to me by by a few people I was talking to. I was having in a little group chat with a couple of people. I don't reveal who they are just because you know private conversations, but they did bring this up to me and I really liked it. They did mention John, like say the Maple Leafs are paying, playing Pittsburgh. He'll be like, oh, at, oh, what a move if Kenny Malcolm just scored. And then when the Maple Leafs score, he'll like go off and he'll get super excited. I'm getting excited for his team, but still it's just like, you know, you, you might want to react this way for both teams. Either, oh, Toronto scored or, oh God, let's go Pittsburgh scored. You know, I don't know. Like, like, and they mentioned the, the guy mentioned the, the guy was the guys I was talking to as well mentioned this really really good point. I mentioned this is a really good point. John is kind of reacting like a uh, kind of like an NBA guy, and I don't like those NBA guys. That's the one thing I don't like about John is when he absolutely overreacts and milks the reactions. I love John, love John. He's a chill guy to talk with. I wish we were able to talk more, but just occasionally tone down a little bit of the uh, you know. Tone down a little bit of the the over dramatized reactions. You know, I know it gets some views, but still, it's you making the rest of us look a little bad. <laughs> cock, cock, take hockey. <laughs> cock, take hockey. Ain't getting more than <laughs> cock, take hockey. Why can I not get over that? Cock, take hockey. He's getting ain't getting more than fifty k subs. He probably will, honestly. Yeah, when Troy Terry, I love Troy Terry, man. How's the video doing? Okay, 23%. All right, cool. I hope. By the way, guys, sorry if the video is especially looking really, really bad. But um, sorry, if, sorry if it's looking really, really bad. I'm also uploading a video. It's an hour-long video. Like I said, I've been working on it for about two to three weeks now. It's been really, ah, it's been really, it's been in, in the works for all. But ASAP, sir, I, I wouldn't say he buys subs. Uh, TFS, don't ban him just yet. We're having a, we're having a decent conversation, you know. But I. Unless you have proof to prove to prove that he's he's buying subs, I, I wouldn't make the, the, the accusation. Is it the thing I know about Marcus? Nah, no, it's not. Thank you, TFS. And Marcus as well. Guys, don't ban him. Unless I say, all right, you can go ahead and ban him. Kind of like I just did. <laughs> but don't, seriously, don't don't ban him unless I, I say that you should be able to. That you that you can. We're having a good conversation, I think. Harry, Vegas official Twitter asks, would you rather have a pet triceratops or a condo on the moon? A condo on the moon. Probably a condo, actually, yeah. If he was an announcer, he'd definitely be good for all games without the Leafs with his bias. Yeah, Larry, yeah, that's, I agree. Like, if he's commentating a game between Philadelphia and Colorado, that's a great game that he's commentating. He's he's beautiful on that. I love that. I love when he, when he commentates those games. But with the Leafs and, say, Phoenix... Firstly, I can understand it's Phoenix game. He's probably not going to be that excited when they score it because it's Phoenix. But you know, if, if he's like, if it's a game in general, he will be very, very biased. Unfortunately, I love John, but it's just you know, as friends, I feel like they're, we're allowed to you know uh, criticize each other once in a while. Honest criticisms about me.
me, feel free to tell me them, man. You know, Canadians need to update the look in their jersey. Marnie, I, I don't know. Marnie, did I actually get that name right? Is your name Marnie? I hope so, because I, I if that's not it, I apologize. But if I got it right, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Um, well, yeah, I kind of agree. Is it just me or do I never see ESPN? NCA, yeah, no, because I don't think I get at ESPN, so I don't think I see it. I'm pretty sure that's why, because I don't see ESPN. I don't think I get it. Rip. Um. All right, where am I? All right, <laughs> all right. Let's get back to this. Imagine John secretly listening to him, King Julian. Honestly, that'd be kind of funny <laughs> if John was listening. <laughs> if John was secretly listening, honestly, I wouldn't have a problem. It'd, it'd be cool. I think he's streaming right now. Or no, 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 no. He should, he went live for the Morgan Riley uh, game winning goal. No, but uh, but yeah, no, he would love that. I, that'd be cool. You know, it'd be awesome if John listened to me like and just didn't talk in the room. I'd actually like that. I listen. That's how I watch most of his nowadays. I just don't chat. I'm just like, eh, all right, let's watch. And most of the time, I'm doing something else anyways because it's good background noise for me. Uh, yeah, Habs had more pressure. Nothing past Netty. Uh, Wings pressured hard in the final minutes. They took control of the game at that point. But the end of the second, shots were 22-21 Canadians. Red Wings led 2-1. to one. I had to use a very legal, very legal way to watch the Vegas-Detroit game. It was the England feed. Oh, Marcus, you guys got England feeds? Uh, Habs pressured early in the third. Anderson and Galley had a good 2-1, on one, but Anderson took the shot. Would have liked to see him pass to Galley there. I feel like they maybe would have been able to score. But, but it doesn't matter because we score. Lekkinen, uh kind of gets up on a partial break. He ends up getting taken down uh, into the boards with the other guy. Uh, did someone say England feed? Oh, oh, I thought that was TFS saying that. Oh, that was Marcus. I'm dumb. Did you see my comment about how I read it? About how I re read it? Read it? Read it? Read it? Read it? Read it? We're talking about Reddit? <laughs> um, I, I don't know about that. Oh, well, John's just a complete narcissist. I mean, ASAP, I can't exactly disagree with you, but I can't really agree with you. I feel like John's cocky. But he's confident. And I feel like, yeah, Reddit, read it. Yeah, Reddit, read it. Yeah, I read, read it. Yeah, I read it. Um, <laughs> I read it. I want you to read it. If anyone gets that fresh pince of, of uh, fresh, fresh, fresh pince of bell hair, I think is what it's called. I forget. It's beautiful. It's from Dyke Hike. He's great. Um, I mean, David, to be fair. This toilet seat logo beat you guys last year. You you literally cannot win. You literally cannot win in this conversation, David. You literally cannot win. My man's starting more than Joe Biden. Yeah, I am TFS, man. I am. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, ASAP. ASAP. Why was I about to call you ASAP Ferg? ASAP Surge. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, John's cocky, but he's confident. I think you kind of have to be that on YouTube. That's what I kind of am when I go live is I try to be not cocky, but very confident. You know, and I think John – has that confidence in him when he goes live, you know? I feel like John, for me, I feel like there's a little bit of two sides to him. Just talking. He's very calm, very collected, you know, very chill and whatever. Uh, you're chill. Hey, thank you, ASAP. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, man. Then when he's on stream, it's like he turns it up to like 11, you know? I feel like in when we're just talking in chat or, or whatever, or just talking in like Discord VCs, Dude's like a two, you know, with an occasional four where he'll bump up and say some sus shit, you know, just to be funny. Then in stream dials it up to 11, you know, way better than cocktail hockey, cocktail hockey. Well, you know what? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm I, I I glad you think I'm better than someone with almost 50,000 subs. I'll take the compliment. I, I will take the compliment. I'll admit it. Oreo guy, if we got Gerard and Krebs off, that'd be sick. Absolutely would. Uh, Oreo, it absolutely would be. I first, read, I first read the Vegas tweet is condom on the moon. I wanted to say that. I wanted to say that too. Trotz is thinking of personnel changes. Really TFS, is he? According to reporter Ray, Ray Renault Levois, I I butchered that way out of my mind. Uh, Ducharme said Jake Allen did the, did the concussion protocol. At the end of the protocol, it wasn't going in the right direction, and that's why he didn't come back. Oh, shit, Gabriel. Okay, yeah, so... Again, fuck you, Jeff Petrie. You just ruined their season more than it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, fuck you, Jeff Petrie. I hope you get traded to the deadline to fucking uh, Chicago because you deserve Chicago. Um, the only logo the Habs have had that wasn't the toilet seat resembles the Leafs logos, except 
if belief was on a winning team they we did have the champions of the world logo 1928 we did have the globe logo for about a year <laughs> about a year i think we only used it the year after we won the cup in 28 i'm pretty sure i would love a new power play coach or something to improve the power player pk because it sucks tfs can't relate because we actually have a decent pk in my opinion Norlanders should play Surge. Surge, I agree. I think I think Norlanders should play Scratch, Sherratt, move Roman off to the right defense. Even though I think actually you could probably move, actually no, no no move Kulak to the right defense because he can play both. I'm pretty sure getting Norlander in the lineup. I'd love that. You can't do worse than you're doing right now, in my opinion. Scratch Savard. Peachy deserves an ass whooping or suspension. Marty, I agree. He deserves a suspension. I I think so. Injuring the goalie like that, which it's weird because Emlyn didn't get anything for pushing Kreider into price. It's intent to injure, not just on the goaltender, on Larkin, pushing him purposely into a, another human, into a post. It should be a suspension. I think Petrie should be suspended personally. That was cheese rip. What did Petrie do? Uh, Petrie was skating right behind Dylan Larkin and grabbed onto the jersey and pushed him into Allen. Larkin went down. He would come back into the game. Allen hit his head against the post with the helmet on. Uh, he would get up right away, but he wouldn't come back into the game after he was taken out with 15 seconds left in the first period. Good game, Habs Cup favorites now. Exactly, Ryan. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, Oreo guy. Yeah, Savard is Ducharme's favorite, unfortunately. That's why I call him the PD dish, the PD, the petty dish. He's useless. I mean, Ryan, can't blame you. I, I completely understand why you call him that now. Come on. All right, I think it's because I'm live that the video is taking long. It's been like 45 minutes. It's only gone up like 2%. I'm going to try and rush it along a little bit. Allen's a guy. I don't think he tried to injure Allen on purpose. I think he tried to Al injure Larkin. I think he was trying to injure Larkin because he was going into a – because he was uh, – be I think he was trying to injure Larkin because he was in on a scoring chance. That's why he was trying to injure Larkin. I don't think he was trying to like seriously injure him. Just be like, hey, motherfucker, you don't score, please. I said, please, so now you can't, <laughs> you know? But, uh, yeah, Petrie plays like Jack Johnson, Onion Guy. This year, or Onion Guy, apparently your name is Onion Guy now. If you change it to that, I'll be very, very funny. That'll be very funny mem. But, uh, yeah, this year Petrie's been playing like Jack Johnson, mem. Oh, no. Uh, ASAP Sherd, here's this. ASAP Sturg. Fuck, I just realized you're named after Sturg, Chab, aren't you? <laughs> I just realized that. I think I see your profile picture. I think that's Mikhail Sergachev. I think. Unless I'm just dumb. Stupid, I'll say, because I'm dumb. I am dumb. <laughs> Here's the thing. Stay Allen's right here. Uh, Larkin's coming in about here. And Petrie's here. He The way he pushes him. Oh, and Ferg. ASAP Ferg. Yeah, I had a feeling. All right. Uh, thank you. But um, the way that he pushed him... It was like right in front of the net. There's no way that Larkin could have stopped. He was starting to lean into the shot when Petrie pushed him. So he had to go through all the way. He couldn't have turned because he probably would have gotten injured more. But it was like right in front of the net. It was like, no, it wasn't like a, oh, a push and then boom into Al into Allen like two seconds later. It was like a push into Allen right away. But yeah, sir, don't worry about it. You, you, I assume you didn't see the play because you, you said, what did Petrie do? But uh, yeah, it was right in front of the net. There was maybe half a second between the push and him running into, into to Allen. It was, it was really nasty. Um, but yeah, Petrie, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> uh, has pressured early in the third period. Uh, wait, I'm dumb. Oh, uh, where am I? I'm, uh, we scored. <laughs> we scored after the two on one. It didn't matter because Chris Weidman was a really, really nice wrister. I shouldn't have said that. Hey, sir, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. You, I, the way I said it, it made it sound like Larkin could have stopped because I compared it to the Kreider thing. It, it made it sound like that, but uh, but yeah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Do you have NHL 22 yet? I'll be anyone in this chat room, Dan Marnie. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have NHL 22 yet. I want to pick it up. Uh, I probably will in the future. I'm just not sure exactly when yet, honestly. I'm just not sure exactly when I will pick it up. I want to, like I said, just not too sure. Also, by the way, boys, what would you think of me taking a bunch of like Tim's cards, extras that I have? Nah, sir, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. It's water under the bridge. What would you guys think of me taking, like, say, for example, a Bobrovsky card from this year's Tim's? Buy Tim Horton cards, by the way. Not sponsored, unfortunately. Tim's, get on that. I'll, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> what would you guys think of me taking, like, a bunch of, like, Tim's doubles and, like, putting them on, like, a piece, like, pieces of paper, printer paper, whatever, and, like, 
pinning them to the wall. Like, you think that would be kind of cool? Getting, like, rows of cards. Like, getting, like, rows of cards, like, here maybe. Like, I don't think it would work exactly because I still have – oh, you guys can't see it, but I have my hockey cards, like, right under where I have. But, uh – oh, Oreo guy, do they have it? Yeah, sir. Kind of like magnets. Kind of like what the uh, kind of like what the hockey guy has. Like a little bit, except they'd just be like, I, they, I, I don't know if I'd like glue them or like tack them. Mother, ow! I just stabbed myself. That hurt. Ow! <laughs> I got sounded so confused. I stabbed myself. Ow! <laughs> I, uh, someone clip that, please. I'd actually like that. But yeah, I don't know if I'd like tack them or whatever. But like, just like get like a bunch of cards on the wall. I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know about you guys. But I think that'd be really cool, you guys. Yeah. Uh, I could probably do, like, a bunch because I already have five doubles of Bobrovsky from this year. <laughs> no, don't do – oh, God. I'm not getting a poster of Ducharme, Lemonhead. I'm not getting a poster of Lemon of, – of, I will get a poster of Lemonhead. I just won't get a poster of Ducharme. I'd only buy the NHL. Do they do it 50% off every December? Because if they do, that'd be nice. Yeah, clip the second – because I think there's a clip button right, right down below – I see it on some YouTubers. I don't know about others because I keep not remembering to look. But I feel like they have the clip button. So you guys can clip it right out. Hang up a Savard jersey. Jacob, maybe. I'll consider it. I will consider it. Um, but, yeah, we scored. Lekkinen gets on a breakaway. Uh, he ends up falling down with a guy who started to not get, not like a similar on the Petri play, but kind of just kind of tried to hook him, ended up falling down, accidentally took Lekkinen with him. There was no malicious intent there. Just accidentally fell down oh lemonhead i'd love to get a giant lol byron poster with the breakaway leaf skull i could probably i could probably get that custom made like put it right along here actually i could probably oh actually have the entrance to the to the cubby hole byron's lounge or something like that that'd be funny and then i, I go inside and it's just a shrine to to paul byron that might actually be an idea boys that might be an idea Harry, do you think a player like Doug Glatt would be able to make at least the AHL nowadays? Uh, it depends. Are we talking Doug Glatt, like, at first when he does not know how to skate and all he can do is fight? Or are we talking about, like, near the end of, of Goon 2 where he knows how to fight and, and then obviously how to skate and he can do a little bit of passing as well? Because if we're talking about, like, end of Goon 1, nah, maybe Goon 2 probably as like a fourth liner maybe is birch van gonna leave surge i don't know okay and a goon too yeah i i think because if pozzetta can make the nhl then yeah i think doug glad a guy like doug glad could probably make the ahl right now yeah i mean alexei kovalev canadians i missed the guy too i didn't watch him live as a canadian but god damn it like dude was dude was pretty good looking back at highlights he was really good imagine going to the bus oh jacob yeah i'd be just like I'd be like, did you get that when we first signed him? Or, like, did you – when he's doing bad? <laughs> Vegas comeback? Oh, no, Clifford's not going to like that, man. Clifford's not going to like that. Just print an image on That would be a good point. True, Lemonhead. Yeah, Savard, the way he's playing, his jersey probably might be 20 bucks. Or who knows? I'll just wait until we trade, like, Petrie at the deadline and get a Petrie jersey for, like, $15. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, so Lekkanen goes down. Uh, Robbie Fabry, the guy who who tripped and and accidentally took like an in down, he was actually really hurt on the play, uh, so he couldn't get he, he couldn't cover Lekkinen. Lekkinen just on his knees, just a blind pass, happens to get it right to Weidman, boom, wrists it past Nedeljkovic, and it's a beautiful goal for the two two tie. Big shout out by the way to Jake Evans skating along, seeing Lekkinen down, jumping over him, and continuing to skate. <laughs> that was a really funny image. Thank you, Jake Evans, if you're ever watching this, which I don't know if you somehow would be, but if you are, thank you for that really funny image. <laughs> I really like that. And best of wishes to Robbie Fabry. I don't know if he was back in the game, but hopefully you're all right because I kind of like you, Robbie Fabry. You're nice. Come to Montreal. I'll suck it. <laughs> That's going to be the new meme on the channel, I swear. Peachy for Klingberg. Uh, Dallas is not trading Klingberg because isn't he having a really good year still? Uh, Habs pressured big time. Evans' line had about a minute and a half. I loved this line's play. They were really clicking. And notice, three guys put together who were playing great together last year, and they're all playing great together. Who would have thought? Who would have thunked it? I'll suck you blank. I'll suck you censored. I will suck you censored bar. NZA. Man, I can't wait.
wait for Price to get back in the net either, man. Like, Jesus, I, I want Price to get back. Jeez, I, I want him to get back. Uh, who are the uh, who are the Kraken losing to? TBI. Um, what if Jack Johnson Petrie switched? Petrie's actually on the Avs. Jacob, it wouldn't surprise me because Jack Johnson's kind of playing like Jeff Petrie from what I've noticed um, so far. You're losing. Well, I mean, here's the thing, TBI. Kraken are playing pretty – Crack. the Minnesota Wild are actually really good this year. Harry, if you were a player in the NHL, what kind of player would you be? Power forward, playmaker, enforcer, two-way, defenseman, offensive, two-way, or uh, enforcer, and I'm going to put sniper in there. Ah, I don't know. Honestly, I'd probably want to be a power. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, pass. I don't know. I feel like I'd want to be a playmaker. I don't think I'd want to be a power forward because I don't want to retire at 33 because of concussions. I feel like I'd want to be a playmaker. I think being a playmaker would be really, really nice. Harry would be cherry picker. You're actually right, Dines. I'd be at the blue line. Yo, boys, I'm open. Yo, boys, I'm open. And just get immediately on a breakaway, the slowest player on the ice. <laughs> I would be a cherry picker. I honestly would be a cherry picker. Uh, Marcus, I'd play right wing because I'm left-handed. And I'm left-handed, so I'd, I'd want to play right wing probably. Pittsburgh lost to Ottawa. Yes, they did, TBI. Rip. Uh, Harris would be Byron 2.0. Yes, I would, Lemonhead. Absolutely. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, you'd be a bench warmer. Jacob, I probably would be actually. I'd, I'd be the backup goalie just to be like, you know what? I'm making $700,000 this year. I don't want to do a goddamn thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a damn thing except sit on this bench. Uh, but yeah, Evans line had about a minute and a half of uh, of time on the ice. Loved their play, and they actually transitioned into uh, Dvorak's line, which is really, really impressive. I really liked their play out there. Both teams playing, pr- both lines were really good out there. And then Weidman hit the post. There was a bit of a not a scrum, but there was a bit of a battle for the puck. Both teams trying to get at it. Weidman's able to get it. And he just hits the post like. Ah, and uh, there's actually a play. I forgot to mention this. The Delkovic behind his own net almost mishandled the puck. Kind of had to play defender to try and get the puck away from the Hab who was trying to go for it. I forget who it was. I think it was Dvorak, but it was actually really funny. Yes, I would be David Ayers, Jacob. I mean, I'm a goalie, but if I were a player, I'd be a two-way forward because I'm taller or two-way because I know how goalies feel. Marcus can't blame me, man. Now, if you were the backup, you'd have to play a lot with the Peachy on your team. Oh, shit. Yeah, Lemon. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'd be offensive defenseman and be like, hey, you guys can trade Petrie. I'm here. <laughs> you know, I'd probably be an offensive defenseman who can play the right wing. <laughs> I'd be an offensive right wing defenseman. <laughs> um, but yeah, Anderson got involved with Bertuzzi during a scrum. I was actually surprised there was no penalty on the play because Anderson behind the ref punched Bertuzzi. And I thought that could have been unsportsmanlike because that typically is. Uh, but surprised there, there wasn't a penalty there. Uh, Red Wings then pressured. Kulak went back the other way. There were scouts at my game last night. Were there, Marcus? Were you playing? Did you play last night? Oh, shit, because that's, that's, that's pretty good, Marcus. Uh, Kulak went back the other way. There was a good shot. Evans always got a rebound. Really, really good. <laughs> yeah, Lemonhead. Defensive defenseman just replaced Savard. Thank you, Lemonhead. Uh, Habs started pressure again. Habs looked really good right now as Evans line pressured hard. Uh, Red Wings had a really nice chance, but the Habs looked amazing right now. Uh, Anderson and Hronak then went at it with a little uh, with each other for a bit. Habs tried to pressure, but both teams turned the puck over. Then late in the third, both teams just kind of took it easy, just wanted to get the one point, and both teams kind of got gladly obliged. Like, all right, pass it up. Oh nope, it's turned over. Whatever, you know. Both teams kind of took it to kind of took it easy. So we went to overtime. Shots were 35-32 Canadians. Game was tied 2-2. Uh, to start the third, to start the overtime, uh, Red Wings had a decent uh, amount of pressure. Yeah, Marty, yeah. Lucas Raymond, Maureen Sider. I actually have them both in my fantasy leagues because they're doing really good. They only talked to two guys. Our star winger and you, really. Marcus, if you don't mind, how old are you? Are you eligible for an NHL draft? Because that sounds that sounds pretty cool if there were scouts at your game. Oh, let's go. Video's at 24%. I'm hoping it can upload overnight because I really want to premiere it after Sim League stuff tomorrow. But Marcus, yeah, if you, if you feel comfortable saying, like, what's your age? Because if you're eligible for an NHL draft, that'd be like... Ooh, that'd be pretty cool, actually, getting drafted by an NHL team. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I think that'd be really awesome. Ooh. Um, uh, what am I doing right now? Okay, I'm dumb. No, I'm 15. But for higher leagues than Triple A, really, Marcus? So technically, you are eligible for an NHL draft. Not like this year, but three years, you you will be eligible. Who knows, Marcus? Who knows? Who knows? But they said that's the path to double NCAA. Really, Marcus? 
Nice. Well, you know what? Hey, don't buy into the corruption is all I got to tell you. Don't buy into the corruption. All you got to do is... All right, we're back. <laughs> yeah, seventh round by Vegas, Marcus. Who knows? Hey, Marcus, you know what? I'd love you on the Canadians, but you know what? Hey, maybe. Maybe the Golden Knights take a waiver on you. Who knows? I remember Bridgeman's interview was anticipating Savard to replace Weber. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I, here's the here's the funny thing. I, I mentioned this on the Prairie Park podcast. Again, link in the description. Go check it out, boys. I love how many times I've been able to plug it because you guys just ask questions that just so happen the answers are in that video. But I mentioned Bridgeman's gotten damn good at drafting the last couple of years. He's gotten great at drafting uh, forwards and trading for forwards and signing forwards. Pretty decent at getting goalies. And the only thing he can't do is, is sign defensemen in free agency. That is the one weakness to Bergevin is signing defensemen in free agency. Sherratt, Alsner, and Savard. You know, he can draft defensemen just fine. You know, why drafting Shane Wright if they can draft me? That is very true, NZ. Hell yeah. And with the seventh round pick, the Buffalo Sabres like Marcus Hunt. That'd be thing. No, Marcus, don't retire. Just pull the Lindros. Oh, no, my neck is broken. Got to train me to Vegas. What Canadians player in New Jersey ring right now? Marty, it's actually a, I don't know if you can see, it's a blank. This was given to me by my dad a couple years ago. It's a blank jersey. It's a, an old 2006 CCM. If I were to get a player, I don't know who I'd get, actually, because this is an old school jersey. It's a CCM. I was thinking I'd get Suzuki, but I'm like, wait, no, it's an old school I don't know. I'd probably get like Kovalev actually, like Kovalev or Koivu. Or I don't know. Maybe Price because he did play in this 2007 era. I mean, Marcus, if you get drafted by Vegas, who knows? They seem to have gold sending woes all the time. Maybe you'll get a couple games. Who knows? Oh, King Julian, I'm not getting Savard on the back. I, I'm i not getting Savard on the back of the jersey. I work hard to at least play as pro as possible. Hey, let's go, Marcus. Let's go. Honestly, if you can get some NHL games, that'd be that'd be awesome, man. Uh, Patrick Waugh. Yeah, Marnie. Yeah, Patrick Waugh. It actually wouldn't be a bad idea for the jersey. It's the CCM as well. Get Paul Byron on the, get Lol Byron on the back. Ends gay. Loki, I'm considering getting a Byron jersey. <laughs> uh, Red Wings pressured Kulak. Uh, sorry, I mentioned that. Uh, but yeah, Toffoli had a, Toffoli got a puck. He stole it away. Gets, gets it to Evans on a two-on-one. Great opportunity, like I said, off a turnover. And then Dylan Larkin gets his second of the game to win it for the Wings off of a rebounded shot. Montembeau kind of had no chance on it. King Julian, I would like to get Rice and like 68 because I love Yarmir Yager. Like Rice 68 on the jersey, but I just, I don't know. I don't feel right getting my own jersey for the Habs when I've never played for them, you know? There will be more scouts and more games coming up soon. Well, Marcus, hey, good luck with them, man. I hope I hope you impress them scouts, man. I hope you impress them. Um, Yeah, Montembeau had no chance on it, really. It was it was a... Just a shot. He was able to get to the rebound. He wasn't able to control the rebound. Larkin gets it, and yeah, game was over. So the final shots were 38-34 Canadians. We lost 3-2 to two in overtime. Uh, Carey Price and Harry Rice, they run. Yes, Marty. People mentioned that before, actually, surprisingly. I thought I was so clever because I wanted to be a rapper like three years ago, and that was one of the rhymes I came up with. Uh, and I was just like, oh yeah, that's so good. That's so good. And then I just never released it. And then so many people since have been like, yo, Carrie Price, Harry Rice. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> you know, but thank you for pointing that out. I'm very happy about that. Your stats are 932 and at 1.64 goals against average Marcus. That's pretty good. Depending on how many games you played, if you only played like three, that's still good. If you've played like 12 to 15, like that's pretty damn good. Yeah, King Julian, yeah, Tukarski and Marcus Hunt as the duo in Buffalo. Uh, all right, good. Um, what's the rhyme for you guys right now? I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm a bit rusty on the rap thing. I'd probably be able to do it. Uh, I'd probably, be, I, I could probably do it. Uh, not tomorrow because tomorrow's the Boston game. Maybe in a couple days. Maybe in a couple days <laughs> if I can find my old raps because I got to find them in a folder. I, I wouldn't be able to just freestyle right now. 19 games. Jesus, Marcus. That's pretty good. Do you have like an elite prospects page or something? If Because if you do, that's really cool. Elite prospects, Marcus Hunt. If you have, oh, you don't. That sucks. Damn it. I wish you did. That'd actually be really sick if you had an elite prospects page. 3-2. Let's go, Marcus. Let's go. Hell yeah. I wish, I wish you had an elite prospects. That'd be sick. 
Um, yeah, that would be sick, Marcus. Honestly, I mean, hey, who knows? Maybe if you start getting more scouts' attentions and uh, more scouts, more scout attention, and people are like, hey, look at this guy, you know, and then look at this Marcus kid, you know, people are like, hey, create him an elite prospects, you know, that'd be pretty cool, I think. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to start heading out. Uh, not exactly right now. Obviously, I have the Canadian stats to read off to you guys. But after I do that, then I'm going to head off because I got some stuff to do. I got to hang out with my best friend. I got some Sim League stuff to do. So yeah, I'm going to try and get to that. So Marnie, thank you very much for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad you like the content enough to subscribe. Thank you very much. Check out the Prairie Puck Podcast, episode 17, if you enjoyed what you saw here. I need a new helmet. Mine has a broken buckle. Oh, shit, Marcus. Yeah, that's not good. You couldn't just get the uh, the buckle replaced on it? Uh, but yeah, so for the Canadian stats, Suzuki has four goals, 10 assists, 14 points. Defoli, three goals, five assists, eight points. Mike Kaufman, four goals, three assists, seven points. Jonathan Drouin, two goals, five assists, seven points. Anderson and Gallagy, 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 both with three goals, three assists, six points. I have a team work at AM. Oh, Jesus, Marcus, as soon as the game ends, go to bed, man. Team workouts are always the best, man. Go, go work out. Go get your, go get your workout stuff done. Now nah, I want a new helmet anyway. So hey, there we go, Marcus. That's good. It's a, it's an excuse to get one. Hell yeah, then. Uh, Elio, yeah, Gallagher bad. Exact yes, TV Gallagher bad. Elio, I think the problem is they don't communicate. They don't adjust themselves. Yeah, that would make sense actually. Emilio, uh, Elio, Elio. I don't like you calling you Emilio. I'm sorry, but Elio. Yeah, that would, that would make sense. That they're not communicating and not adjusting themselves. It would make sense. It would make a lot of sense. That's one of the reasons that they're not working properly. Sherratt <laughs> has four goals, one assist, five points. Chris Weidman has two goals, three assists. My name is May Manny. I'm sorry if I've been calling you Marnie this whole time, and that's not your name. I apologize if I can't pronounce it. M uh, Manny? Ma Ma Manny? Manny? Is it Manny? I'm sorry if I've been, I'm really, I feel really bad that I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm really sorry about that. I cried tears of joy if I had an elite prospect. Marcus, can't blame you, man. I couldn't blame you. That sounds really fun. That sounds really, really funny. Manny. All right. Your name is Manny. All right. Thank you, Manny. I, I appreciate it. Manny, thank you for subscribing. Greatly appreciate it. I don't know why I thought your name was Marnie. There was no R in there. That is an I, 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 I think I'm honestly surprised you didn't click off the stream, but thank you for continuing to tune in and listen to me butcher your name for 30 minutes. <laughs> thank you, Manny. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, dumb. It's TFS. Thank you guys. If you guys are heading out, hit me with that triple heart squad in the chat, boys. I'm going to read the rest of these stats and then we're going to start doing an outro. Ben Sherrod, like I said, bitterly. Hey, TFS, it's never too early to do the triple heart squad, man. Ben Sherrod, four goals, one assist, five points. Chris Weidman, two goals, three assists, five points. Christian Dvorak, one goal, four assists, five points. Matthew Perot, three goals, one assist, four points. Brent Kulak, and Arturi Lekkinen, each with four assists. Manny, thank you for the Triple Heart Squad. Uh, Jake Evans with three goals. Technically, I can apply to be drafted for CHL drafts and, like, move to Canada, but you like America. I just can't blame you. That would actually be cool if you applied for CHL drafts. That would actually be really cool if you did want to move to Canada. But, yeah, I can't blame you. You like America, then, yeah. Yeah, I can't blame you. I mean, hey, I think NCAA would actually be a better way to get drafted because I think a lot of Canadian, a lot of Americans that go to the CHL do get drafted, obviously. But I think NCAA goalies, like guys like, uh, there's been a few, I forget, I forget their names exactly. Merka, exactly. <laughs> I like Merka. But, um, but there's been a few guys I think were just drafted this year that were like really underrated that were like late round. I think it'd be late round, late round steals from the NCAA. So Marcus, if you, if you wanted to go to the NCAA, I'd support you fully. I would try and find a way to watch NCAA games. If they, if they air those on, uh, on, uh, like some of the sites that I used to watch, uh, some games sometimes legally, hundred percent legally. <laughs> Jake Evans has three goals. Sammy Niku, Jeff Petrie and David Savard each have two assists. Uh, Alexander Romanoff and Ryan Paling each have a goal. And Yoel Armia, Cole Caulfield, Michael Pozzetta each have an assist. ESPN2 has college games really high. And thank you, man. Thank you very much. I will... Oh, wait, do we have... No, we have TSN2. That's what I was thinking of. But, uh, yeah, I will... Uh, I'll try and look into that then, actually. Thank you, Heinz. I appreciate that. But, yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, and includes, but it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, sorry, 
and everything else. My name is Harris. So subscribe to the Puff Club. Subscribe to the Hasty Club. Subscribe to the Hub Hub. If you remember the Mod Squad, thank you for moderating comments on any streams or and or on any streams and or any videos that I published, including the one that's hopefully coming out tomorrow. If the upload goes well, it'll be out tomorrow, five or six p.m. I'm thinking five p.m. right now, just because if I can get it out at five, it's going to be about an hour long. So we can premiere it at six or premiere it at five into six p.m. and then at seven it's the Habs game. So have a video and then late night. Uh, a stream for the game plus a live video kind of chat about it you know love you guys peace hind love you guys too man see you in the sim leagues peace man thank you for coming by hinds but uh yeah guys if you guys are new to the channel tomorrow's video is going to be a bit of a doozy <laughs> for those who are just new to the channel um and part of the community but uh i hope you guys enjoy the video regardless it is at 25 percent right now it took about three hours to get there so we're kind of on good pace about 12 hours or so it should be completely or about nine hours from now it should be completely uploaded if we're going by that pace but yeah guys um that's gonna do it again thank you so much for watching uh links in description check them all out especially the prairie park podcast i'm extremely proud of being on the prairie park podcast last night it was incredible go check them out give them all a sub give peg city hockey uh, uh, a sub give nolan hockey podcast a sub give hot garbage sports who's typically on the podcast a sub Give, give everyone that's on the show a sub. You can give me a sub if you want. Give Urinating Tree a sub. He's been on there. He's a great, great YouTuber. Uh, there's been many other guests on there. I, my, I'm i having a brain fart, so I don't remember all of them. But go check out the Prairie Puck Podcast. Uh, every episode is uploaded on one of Peg City Hockey, Nolan Hockey Podcast, or Hawk Garbage Sports. This one was on Peg City Hockey's channel. So go sub to all three of them. Turn those notification bells on. Uh, not only if you are a Jets fan or you want to hear another hockey fan's opinions on another team like the Jets, that, like me, like that, like I want to do. Um, or if you want to just wait for new episodes of the, of the Prairie Puck Podcast, then there's that. So yeah, guys, uh, like I said, check out the check out the links in the description, boys. We also have the Discord, the Amazon wishlist, the PO box, and the PayPal. PayPal, we are starting the donation fund right now for the computer, the computer fund, as I like to call it, or the Compuo fund, the Compu the the Comp fund. I guess you can call it the Comp fund. Uh, but we also have the speed running, the Twitch, Twitch, and the uh letterbox also in the description those are all down there i'm going to be working on 25 days of harry because this video is f done thankfully so yeah that is going to do it guys thank you for watching my name is harris and i am out stay classy boys adam Royal. if we could get some triple heart squad in the chat boys that would be greatly appreciated before you guys leave i would love that thank you guys so much but again my name is harris i want to make myself an angel 22 make all the things as close to me as possible and see if i get drafted marcus that'd be sick That'd be sick, honestly. Wait, I need to. Hey, let's go to our squad. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marcus. I appreciate it, man. Marcus, that'd be sick. Let us know in the Discord how that goes along. Like, if you get drafted, like, where you get drafted, what you, what goes on with your career. That'd be, like, like, sick, man. I don't know what to do for potential. Marcus, I would go, like, medium starter, honestly. Actually, no, I would probably do, like, medium elite because, like, if you make yourself, let's just say, a 54 overall, medium elite would do good because if you only see yourself as, like, say, medium backup, you will only you will cap at probably like a 60 63 overall somewhere around there if you make yourself medium elite you might actually have a chance of getting to the nhl for nhl 22 like it sucks you have to do that but i you know what i mean so yeah yeah if you want to play just sim i'd go for that that sounds like really cool actually that sounds really really cool i know how it feels bro just lost in double ot and mini stick jesus dottiest that sucks to hear man dottiest i hope all was good there and i hope you at least had fun man i hope you at least had fun but again, boys, the audience, I'm sorry you came by. I just ran to my room to do it. Oh, let's go, Marcus. Let's go. The audience, I'm really sorry you came in right at the end of the stream, man. That is going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Harris. And always remember, stay classy, boys. Ale Morial. And last but not least, always, boys, always remember, despite how bad they are this year or how good they are like last year, go have the go, boys. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for the 11 likes on the stream. It's greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you guys watch the video tomorrow. Dottius, thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, go Habs go. Go Stars go, Dottius. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, if you, I hope you guys enjoy the video tomorrow. I will post a link to it in the uh, Discord. I will have a... I will probably premiere it. I'll make it set to premiere. I will probably set it to a premiere roughly 10 minutes before it actually does premiere. So there's that. But thank you guys so much for watching again. Love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you, Fajo, updating me on the Discord. I appreciate it, buddy. That's going to do it, guys. So much for watching. My name is Harais, and I am out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are so cool. I'll make sure to attend the next stream. Dottius, thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate it, man. Uh, currently...
Currently still losing 4-3 four, four, to 4-28. Fagio, thank you for the updates, man. Dadius, thank you guys for coming by. Thank you for coming by, Dadius. Thank you, Fagio, Marcus, Manny, Hines. Anyone else that came by? Dan, I, I'm not going to name everyone because I'm, I'm going to forget. I feel bad. Uh, by the way, the poll, actually, real quick before I left, before I get off the poll results. Uh, what happens when the Canadians play? They commit to death and lose. Wins over, they win 60% to 40%. Uh, and I'm actually going to check the current votes. 48 votes. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is and I am out. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, boys.